A memorial was held today for former Saints player Glenn Foster Jr. who died earlier this month in an Alabama jail. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Just yesterday, an independent autopsy revealed evidence that Foster was strangled. Candace Charles was at today's memorial. Glenn was a gift to us all and we were robbed of his presence. As loved ones gathered to celebrate the life of former Saints player Glenn Foster Jr., you can't help but notice a longing for answers to questions about his death. Friday, the family's independent autopsy alludes to foul play. The family deserves answers. That's all we want. On December 4th, Foster was arrested in Alabama following a high-speed chase that ended in a crash. He was booked at Pickens County Jail on charges of reckless endangerment and resisting arrest, all while battling a decade-long bipolar disorder. According to reports from the Sheriff's Department, while in jail, Foster got into an altercation with another inmate and later injured a deputy. Soon after, he died in police custody. We have not been provided with a death certificate that has a cause of death nor do we have any autopsy findings from the state at this time. Attorney Ben Crump, who is also on the family's legal team, told Eyewitness News that the independent autopsy suggests Foster died by strangulation with signs of neck compressions. Crump says he's seen this in past cases. The legal team adds that Pickens County Jail's recent history is alarming. This community, this country can't stand by while black and brown men are slaughtered. For Foster's loved ones, the headlines about slaying black and brown men have become all too familiar, but now it's hitting too close to home. It's, it's got to change. This is, this is so disheartening. It's, it's hard enough to deal with the loss of a loved one. America has a problem that it needs to fix. The hope is that Foster's story will lead to justice for not only him and his family, but for others. We really hope that this is another situation that propels us forward with progress. For now, loved ones try to hold on to the bright parts of Foster's life and hope that justice will shine a light on the dark. Glenn and his family mean the world to me, and we will not stop until we pursue the absolute outcome that Glenn deserves, and that is justice. Candace Charles, Eyewitness News. The Pickens County Sheriff's Office tells us they have yet to receive any information on Foster's cause of death from the state's autopsy or the independent autopsy.